Hi everyone, right now we're inside the Minecraft world and I'm super looking forward to see what's in store for us. So today, we have our Chief Architect and that's Marcus who's going to take us on a tour. Okay everyone, I'm super excited to show you our Imaginarium because the team and I, we really put a lot of effort into this. We spent maybe about 100 man hours building this place. Oh. So right now, we're in the lift and we are reaching level 4. And right now, we're at our church's lift lobby. Whoa. Those look like some of our familiar hosts. I can really hear them say, Hi, welcome to Heart of God Church. Hope you enjoy service. Whoa. <laughs> Did someone just destroy the table? Yeah. And if you love <laughs> the lobby, wait until you see the rest of the Imaginarium. When you walk further up, you will enter the concept walkway. And the interesting thing is that the designs of these screens change once every few weeks. The whole thing, including the floor, is actually interactive. Wow, that is so cool. Guys, check out our atrium. I think we are all very, very familiar with this place, right? Especially those of us who wait here before the doors open and we can run in for service. And okay, Caleb, before I continue the tour, I'm just going to use the toilet, okay? <laughs> sure, but just make sure you don't go into the wrong one. Definitely. And just a fun fact, the lights in the toilets are all motion sensored and they on automatically. This is super realistic. And okay, Caleb, just asking, when's the last time you ate? You look a bit hungry. It was definitely before I entered this Minecraft world. Wow, that's about a few hours ago. Okay, let's go to the cafe and get some food. Oh, all these food, but... I realise I have no diamonds in this Minecraft to trade for any of these. Wow, that's so sad, but it's okay. I think we can buy them next time. I don't have any spare cash for you also. But I really miss the... I really miss the potato salad. Yeah, and anyways, here, here's the bookstore and we really like to hang around here even on the weekdays because it's the perfect environment to study, hang out with each other, have fun and I just want to give a shout out to ZA Zone. Yeah, uh, thank you for all the memories of us jamming together for our favourite songs and I just can't wait to hang out with all of you guys again. And this gigantic wall in front of us is where the pre-service videos are played. What's amazing is that the content is not fixed but once in a while, we change it and we update it to something fresh and happening. And I wonder what video is going to be played when we get there back for service. Oh, 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 Marcus, the doors are open. Shall we go into the auditorium? Let's go, let's go. Whoa. Wow, I really miss the music when we walk into the auditorium. Man, it's been such a long time since we last stepped foot in here. Whoa, is that where our CG normally sits? I think so. Well, you see, this thing about this auditorium is that there are no bad seats. That's right. And what that means is that no matter where you sit, whether you are at the back, whether you are at the side, front, you will always have a great view of the service. And another feature I love about our auditorium is that the stage is in the shape of the cross. Wow, it is. Wow, you can see it. It feels so long since we've been here together. So let's just take in the view of our auditorium. After all, this is the place where we encounter the presence of God and we listen to powerful sermons during our service. I really can't wait till we can gather and I can see you in person again, Caleb. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to it too, Marcus. Whoa, is, it, is that a blackout? Yes, it is a blackout, but don't worry, it is not a power outage. It just means that service is starting and we have reached the most exciting point of our tour. Oh, you know how we have those um, runway screens that come down in service? Can we actually do that here? Why not? Of course. Let me show you. It is going to come down very soon. Oh, yeah, I see it. Pretty One cool. coin. <laughs> yes, and actually all these things are controlled by our friends in the media control room. Why don't we go ahead, go ahead and say hi? Let's go and say hi to them. Well, it's very down here. Just keep walking, navigating, navigating, finding my way around. Whoa, where are they? Can't it's really down here. Can you see them? No. Black. Okay, this is on the lights, it's on the lights. Whoa. Whoa. Yes, and this is where all the magic happens. Our service ops team, they serve in here weekend in, weekend out, and all the technology and screens, they are all controlled from this from this room. And personally, for me, I'm so thankful that as I get to grow up as a youth in the heart of God's church, it is where I receive the opportunity to serve God in big ways. Look, look at all the computers, they probably cost like a few thousand each. <laughs> This is so amazing. 
You know what? Thank you for showing us around, Marcus. And I just can't wait to be back in church again. And uh, But service is about to start soon. So let's go back out and get to our seats. Let's seat. go. Yay. Really excited for service. That's right. <laughs>